I love this show that you're doing because the concept really makes so much sense. Are you normal? I mean, we all ask it of ourselves and we, things we see. We do. This is a segment that used to be on the Oprah Winfrey show on an on, off and on basis, and she decided to expand it out into a game show. And so Barry Posnick, who's the host of the show, who's a game show producer, stretched it out and made it this amazing game show, Are You Normal America? It's the most amazing sort of sociology experiment. You get to check in. Is it normal to pee in a pool? Is it normal to lie to your mother to get off the phone? Is it normal to ding, ding? Is, yes, it, normal, yes. is it normal to go three <laughs> days without taking a shower? Wait, by the way, I didn't just say yes, it's normal to pee in a oh, pool. Okay, good, good, good. I have but a it pool, is. not a pool. Okay, okay. good. Okay. <laughs> well, we're here at Showbiz tonight. We thought that we would come up with our own version of this show. And I know at times that celebrity world, it seems wacky. It doesn't seem very normal at all to the rest of us. So we're going to go deep. We're going to take a look at a few stories in the news today and decide with your help, Kim. Wilmer, uh, if these stories are in fact normal. Let's start with the amazing Betty White, shall we? Just yesterday, the former Golden Girl was at the unveiling of her wax figure in Hollywood. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. She's 90 years old right now, or 90 years young, I should say. That makes her the oldest celebrity ever honored with a wax figure at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. And Showbiz Tonight, as you see, was right there. So let's listen to what the great Betty thought of her likeness. You know, the only thing that hurts me... Why did they wait to do this till I was 90? I mean, a, a few decades ago it would have been swell. Look, honey, get snap out of it. I mean, she's terrific. She has such a great sense of humor. But I have to say, that wax figure really looks exactly like Betty. So that leads me to our first question. Is it normal that we really can't tell the difference between <laughs> Betty White and her wax figure, Kim? I think it's great that we can't tell the difference. That means that the Tussaud people did a great job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I love that she's getting this now before she's gone. Do you know Wilmer? what I'm saying? Well, I'd say, I mean, do you think it's normal that for so many decades, Betty White has looked just as amazing and almost the same age? Well, the, here's my question then. Would you, Kim, ever want to have a wax figure done of yourself? I hope so, and I uh, hope they make make it look thinner, younger, fresher, and foxier than me. <laughs> just well, a little bit, just a little bit. Well, <laughs> Wilmer, I have to imagine they've approached you about doing one of these of you. You know, I, did, I mean, there's been always the conversations and all that stuff. But I think that those honors, you know, really should come to to a seasoned veterans, you know, like, I think I still have a lot to go before I accept an honor like that big, you know, but I think she, she really deserves to be immortalized. She's such a staple of comedy and wants such a strong image of, of a strong, you know, comedic woman, you know, and very few of them in the business, you All know, right. like well, her. I just if they, do, if they don't make yeah. one for me, I'm just going to burn a bunch of candles in my house, burn yeah. it down and make my own. That could work very well. Sure. And Wilmer, please, you know, do not diminish your seasonedness. I mean, you've been working more than half your life. Come on, man. I mean, seriously. Uh, <laughs> next up, though, let's move on to Kate versus <laughs> Kim, because we already know that royal wife Kate Middleton is not afraid to wear a dress more than once, as we recently saw. But what about wearing a dress after Kim Kardashian wore it first? Well, the Duchess of Cambridge dazzled in a red Alexander McQueen dress for the Queen's Jubilee pageant on Sunday. But we thought that dress looked really familiar to us. And that's for a good reason. The queen of reality TV, Kim Kardashian, wore the very same dress last August. While the dress looked demure on the royal and sexy on the Kardashian, we still have to ask, is it normal for Kate Middleton, of all people, to wear the same dress as Kim Kardashian did? And Kim Coles, I'll ask you first. I would say, would it be normal for her to have it dry cleaned before she put it on? That would be what I would ask. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess so. <laughs> Wilmer, I got to tell you, I, I don't know that, you know, you're a very stylish individual. Uh, would you actually wear something that, uh, I don't know, one of the princes wore first? Um, I mean, it would be an honor. It would be an honor if uh, if I were to wear the same dress as they do. <laughs> as okay. they do. I don't know. It's, um, all, it's all very No, but silly. you know what? To be honest, I mean, I think when it comes to that dress, it really is all about... You know, it's how they wear it. It seemed to be by the pictures that they both wear it very differently. They almost looked like two different dresses on, on, on two different people, you know? That's true. And we've seen in the magazines that column, who wears it better? Yeah. In this yeah. case, I think they both wore it great. So eh, maybe very it is different. normal, as we're asking today. Is it normal? Is it normal? Are I just you want to normal? go back to that dress for a second. Yes, go Do you back. know how Charles, many we see the dress tailors again? had to work so hard to change the, the pleat? That, you know, she had that pleat taken all the <laughs> right. way up. Somebody sat up all night long making that hem for Kim Kardashian. You think That's that only normal. took one night? Oh, thank you, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, let's you. call it like it is. Okay. Well, we all know how much the stars like to tweet and post pictures of themselves. Ryan Seacrest is no different. He's out there on the Twitter all the time, and he recently posted pictures of himself on Instagram 
with big celebrities like Justin Bieber and Carrie Underwood. But the latest Instagram picture he posted was this, his lunch. <laughs> that got us wondering, is it normal for Ryan Seacrest to Instagram a photo of a salad? Wilmer? Um, you know, to be honest, if you're really proud about going green, I guess it would be. <laughs> but I don't really see the point of actually. I mean, honestly, what <laughs> have you ever? Twitter and a salad. I don't know if you eat the McNuggets, but would you ever put something like that up on the Twitter, or is you know just posting an occasional picture of think, your life good enough? I I think the coolest thing would be to to uh, take a picture and Twitter and Instagram a picture of your guilty pleasure, right? Like your cheat day. Like this is my cheat day, and this is what I'm eating today. Like that would be like a fun thing. But a salad is like, hey, look, I'm eating healthy. Well, what would you know, that guilty know. pleasure be for you, so you can share with us that it is in fact normal, even as a celebrity? It would be a double double extra spread um, grilled onion in and out burger. <laughs> All right, there, the in and out nice, burger, very nice. popular on the West Coast. Uh, have you ever overshared on the Twitter? I I know I have. I think people want to know. It's it's a social social space, a social thing. I I love that he tweeted tweeted his picture or Instagrammed his picture. I, yeah, people do that all the time. It is normal. It's so, so normal. So Actually, it's too much information sometimes. But that's a lovely well, salad. Now we know how he keeps himself looking so trim. He, he did not tweet his underwear no, or post the no. picture of his underwear. So so you know, Wilmer made a, a great point. And by the way, Wilmer, I like the In and Out too, but mine is without the onions, without the extra sauce, but a double double, no cheese and protein style. Oh I got my you, brother. Goodness. What what would you Girl, that's, <laughs> when I don't want to feel that guilty, that's exactly what I do. Ah, ah. That's not where you're going to hide your pain, is it, Kim? <laughs> but double, double with no, no bread, no onions, no fun. Is there another guilty pleasure yeah, that you would If you get a protein cake, style, if you get a protein style, then you can fit in the dress like um, the Thank Duchess. You. See, and Wilmer knows. I don't know how he's next one on that, that, but he knows all.